Hi everybody, Nikki Niveson, Conservation Educator here at the Salado Wildlife Education Center. Thank you for tuning in to today's Creature Feature, all about my favorite game bird, the Northern Bobwhite Quail. Now, you think Bob White, well, what does that mean? So, Bob White Quail actually get their name from the sound that they make. It's almost like a whistle or a call, and it's Bob White, Bob White, and hopefully throughout this video, you might hear it. Another thing, we're actually inside our quail habitat here at the Salado Center. And as you can tell, we have different coloration. You can see an up close of our quail. Now their patterns, their belly patterns help them camouflage into the grasslands here in the center. Um, their body has nice brown and reds, but you can tell there's a difference. One has black and white on their face and the other has brown and tan. Well, there's a difference. The black and white face, that is our male and the brown and tan is our female. Their characteristics, as you can tell, they have nice little round bodies and they are smaller than a crow, but bigger than a robin. So you can kind of judge their size based on that. Now, looking through this grassland habitat that we have here in our facility, bobwhite quail you can find in either open pine forest or like I said, gra native grassland habitats. In our habitat here at Salado, we have little blue stem grass and big blue stem grass. There's two different kinds, but you can also have a variety of different native grasses depending on where you're at, your region. Native grasses actually build channels, as you can see in the, the video here, and our quail are super quick. And they actually run through these channels that are made by the native grasses. So the grasses grow up and you can't really see, but down below the surface of the top of the grasses, there's actually really good channels. Now quail, they can run through these channels of native grasses, but if there's non-native grasses like fescue, and it's all super thick, quail can't run through that. They can't escape their predators. Now with habitats comes nesting and breeding. A lot of people wonder what our quail eat. So they eat a lot of vegetation, a lot of grasses and seeds, but during the breeding season, they actually will eat a lot of insects. Now quail are pretty cool. As you can see, they're cute. They're one of my favorites just because they're adorable and they make such cute noises and calls and they're eggs. So a lot of people, these are smaller birds. Well, when eggs hatch, so here's a quail egg, it's very tiny, but when chicks actually hatch, they're the size of a bumblebee. So if you guys at home have ever seen a bumblebee, that's how big these quail chicks are when they hatch. And they only hatch within 24 days of incubation, which is really interesting. So they're very fast breeding little birds. They actually can have anywhere from one to three clutches every breeding season. And they have 12 to 14 eggs. So they wanna make sure they lay a lot of eggs so we keep that population up. Now conservation is a big thing for these game birds. It's one of the biggest conservation plans that we have here in the state of Kentucky. We do have a 10 year conservation plan for bobwhite quail. Um, and the reason why is because since 1960, the quail population in Eastern Amer North America has declined 67%, which is quite a lot in that few little bit of a time span. Now, we, like I said, we do have a 10 year plan and we're actually wrapping that 10 year plan up. There's quite a bit of information in that plan and you can find it on our website. Here's part of it. Road to recovery. Recovery doesn't take overnight. It takes over a long period of time. So this is the 10 year plan to try to get Kentucky's Bob White quail population up and increased. There's different things. Now, a fun fact about quail, someone in 1931 deemed them the firebird. Now I know some people are like, well, Phoenix is the firebird. Well, actually we're going to say it's the Bob White quail. And the reason why is because due to the habitat that Bob White quail live in, they need prescribed fire to help their habitat along. Without the fire, the habitat goes away. We need that early successional period with the grasslands and the open pine forest. And without prescribed burns, we can't have that. And so that is one of the biggest conservation 
plans or protocols that we use it with the department to help our Bob White quail population. These are really cute. So if you come back to Salado when we open, I know every, everyone's getting a little stir crazy. Even our quail are a little stir crazy today. They're running around. But next time you come out to Salado, come into the quail habitat exhibit area and actually enjoy these little guys. They're adorable. They run around, they make all kinds of noises, and maybe they'll get close enough to you that you can see them really well. Thank you so much again for tuning into today's creature feature all about the northern bobwhite quail. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Thanks again.